All right, what's up, guys? Adam of AS Trains here, and tonight I thought I'd do a re recent acquisitions video. Uh, part of the reason is because um, this video was actually requested, and also, too, I got to looking around, and I realized I actually have quite a few pieces that you folks haven't seen yet, so I figured, hey, why not show it off? So anyways, here's the end scale lot. I'll get back to this in a moment. Real quick, we're going to focus on the HO. So I got quite a few pieces to show off here. I'm going to try and just point them out if you you might have to look up photos but and i apologize for that but seeing as how some how some of these items are arranged uh, there's only so much i could do so i'm going to start over here the first new item is uh, a walters proto florida east coast uh this is a gunderson rebuilt ap 53 foot well car road number 7605 very nice car uh i got a apalachicola northern uh 50 foot FMC 5347 boxcar, and this is in the yellow scheme with the port, uh, port and Sage O root logo. It's an Athen ready to roll. Down here, I have two Athen Genesis. Uh, they're, I'm, they're initial, but it's, I'm just going to say they're Seco 50 foot boxcars, and they are marked for Bay Colony, which is the sister railroad to the Seminole Gulf. The only difference is they're up in Massachusetts. These came from Alex Martin, and these uh, or my brother Alex Martin. Uh, they're kind of on a loan. Or co I'm co-owning these pieces uh, because they're Bay Colony, Bay Colony, and Seminole Golf. That's that's his railroad. And although I'm, he's got me to modeling, collecting, and modeling those two roads. I gotta, you know, I still I have my limits. So, anyways, these two, although they're, I can, he has given me permission to say that these are mine, but. Behind the scenes, it's a 50-50 thing. I own, I have partial ownership while he retains the sole ownership. Um, I also got this uh, AHM Florida East Coast box car. Although not uh, very highly detailed, I did upgrade it to body mount knuckle couplers and metal wheels. And it's actually a good looking car to, in a train. It's a good filler car. Um, that does it in terms of rolling stock. Um, in terms of locomotives, I got two Seminole Golf locomotives here, and a CSX SD70M, which I'm currently still in the process of working on. Uh, these two SGLR pieces are from Atlas. Uh, we have SGLR Alco C425 number 550. This is a, like the BCLR box cars. This is a this is a locomotive that I partially own. This came from Alex's collection, and he has entrusted me to care for this engine being that I do run HO and that um, also too this came on because I got this engine here this is a model I bought from the Jacksonville train show back in early February and uh, this is a model of SGLR number 591 which is a B39-8E uh, both of these I put decoders in uh, just standard light motor decoders I've yet to put low sound in them uh, the only detail change I will have to make to 591 is removing the original Leslie rs horn and replacing it with a K, uh, Nathan K5 LAR24, uh, being that the real 591 sports that horn. Last locomotive, uh, once again, a co-owned uh, locomotive. This is the early Generation 1 uh, Athern Genesis SD70M. This is the one where it was based... It could, think of this as the Fox Valley of the Athern world where you have to pretty much install almost all the details like such as grab irons and what have you and they come in the in the raw metal form you have to paint them uh the hand all the guardrails and everything you have to put on yourself and paint them and uh that's certainly what i did and they they i'm gonna see if i can keep the camera still so you can get a good look at this there you have it that's the front end and uh, there's the tail end i'm very pleased with the results I've also equipped the, actually I must say for these three engines, I have equipped them with the uh, KD uh, scale head knuckle couplers and they look, they look nice and whether DC or DCC, they run really nice. Another Athern Genesis uh, acquisition is this uh, Florida East Coast SD70M-2. Uh, this is a pre-owned locomotive. Uh, I had to clean it up a little bit, but I'm pleased to say it did not have any missing parts. And uh, it came with a D it came with a DCC decoder, not just a standard Digitrax light and motor decoder. Um, and it runs great, and I can't wait to install extra lighting on this uh, locomotive when the time comes. 
some new Southern Power. I'm going to start with this one. This is a Spectrum Southern Railway 2102, number 5224. Very nicely detailed engine. Very smooth running, too. Uh, it does have a decoder on board. Um, this will possibly get an ESU Loke sound or maybe even a Tsunami, too. But most likely a Loke sound. Then we have my first Broadway Limited locomotive in HO scale. This is a USRA 2A2 Heavy Mikado, number 4850, also scored at the um, Jacksonville train show. Very nice piece. Uh, that does it in terms of um, uh, new pieces. Uh, or actually, there's this little guy. This is a, a Spectrum 44 ton center cab. This looks, the reason why I have this is because out of the box, it heavily reminds me of the Florida Railroad Museum's number 100, which is also a yellow 44-ton center cab, ex-Navy. And all, despite inaccuracies such as the striping, the uh, the stacks, the horn, the fact that the cab roof is black, and, uh, and among other details, it, it just still reminds me. In fact, I say that I got to give a hand to Spectrum that even despite all the detail inaccuracies, this this out of the box looks a lot like our little 100. So that's the reason why I have it. So that does it in terms of HO. Now we're going to move on to N scale. So as you can see, probably the most uh, dominant piece is Royal American Shows. Uh, a lot of these pieces here actually came from my brother Alex. And um, I'm going to go ahead and explain how I got them and what have you. So anyways, um, the Royal American cars... Uh, these came to me because I did show interest in them, and I got these uh, at, through a trade, which uh, has to be finalized. Alex, uh, at one point, Alex actually, I bought Alex's set of lifelike N-Scale Atlantic Coastline E6 units. Beautiful running pieces, beautiful looking pieces, too. Well, recently he purchased a set of Concorde Atlantic Coastline uh, Champion passenger cars uh, to run behind his F2. Well... He kind of decided that he would like to have the E6 back, so he offered to give me all the Royal American show cars, uh, which includes uh, this set of... These are... This is a set of sleepers, if I'm not mistaken. This is a set of 12, 12 one heavyweight sleeper cars. The, this one consists of... Um, there's multiple cars in here. These two are pa uh, pair window coaches. I think this is a uh, 10 one two. This is a another 12 to one. Yeah, this is another 12 to one. Another 10 10 one two, and uh, I think a three two um, observation, something like that. Now I just now realized uh, that there's supposed to be two other cars here. They're made by Concorde. One's a bag. I think it's a combination baggage, and the other one's a, a streamline observation. Uh, same scheme. You know, and they're painted in Royal American. I just forgot to put them out on the table. Um, but I'm glad I have these. And uh, although I was very hesitant on getting rid of those E6 units, uh, the reason, part of the reason, there's two reasons why I decided to go through with the trade. Number one is yes, uh, I wanted these Royal American cars. And considering how many cars I'm getting versus those two little E6s right there, focus. There you go. Those are the two E6s, by the way. Considering I'm getting all these cars. Uh, just to for just to fork over those two E6s, that was part of the reason why. And also, too, in regards to the E6s, I don't actually have cars for them, at least not yet. So I said, well, yeah, down the road, I can always get another set, if I'm lucky. Um, but Alex, is, he's already one step ahead of me. He's got those passenger cars. I can use these Royal American Show cars behind almost anything. So those are the two reasons why. The next uh, piece is uh, one that I really had to coax him for. This is a Model Power 462, light 462, painted as Atlantic Coastline number 1508. Very nice looking piece. Very smooth running piece, too. No problems whatsoever. Uh, I he Right now, I've, been, I've taken on a job where I have to upgrade uh, his custom uh, Ringling Brothers Blue Show uh, cars from Rapido Couplers to... Uh, microtrains knuckle couplers we found what kind of coupler kit we need and it's one that is actually a little difficult and um so i i because i've worked with similar couplers and i i suggested maybe i should work on these considering how difficult the kit can be and i said uh okay and he asked well what i asked for in return and i said well how about this little 462 yes it's atlantic coastline but i've never really seen you run it all the times it has run it was something that i've chosen 
he agreed and he said I did that was a valid point and so he said sure I can take the 462 and I love that little thing last last locomotive that came from Alex is this uh, Union Pacific heritage unit this is now the fourth uh, fallen flag heritage unit that I've acquired and this makes the fifth uh, general heritage unit that I've acquired in N scale um, I have units, uh, I, I have the UP 1983 now, but I also have UP 1996, UP 1989, the 1988, and although it's not a fallen flag, I also have the UP 1943, so the five heritage units. Uh, the, these units are not easy to come by anymore, so uh, I actually traded my two Union Pacific E6s for this one unit, and uh, it was a fair trade, he's getting two engines for the price of one, so it all turned out good. Now the last two cars, uh, these came from the. I, these are purchases I made from Gulf Coast Model Road Supply of Sarasota. And these are two uh, whiskey cars, or whiskey or bourbon cars. We have Old Forester, uh, American Premium Whiskey since 1870, and then we have Early Times uh, Bourbon or Early Times Whiskey. Uh, these are uh, recent production cars, and these are very, very nice. Can't wait to get metal wheels onto these two cars. So, anyways. Uh, I do apologize for making the video drag so much, but um, for some cases I had to explain how I got these and so on and so forth. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and if you want to, subscribe. That's it for now. I'm Ab Swindell, and I shall see you next time.